italiano. <laughs> yes. Here it's like a house of pains. Uh, um, <laughs> it's a house of pains. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing my okay. This is the guy we're talking about. Uh, this is Steve, uh, the one that's going to do the matches. Right. And I'm ready to cry. Come on in. <laughs> right. Hey, look who's here. Hey, bro. What's going on, man? Hey, man. How you doing, brother? Two twenty-four. Two twenty-four. Same like this. It's maintaining. Let's see, what, what did I have you have last time? 4.9. Uh, 4.9. 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. You doing cardio right now? Or? Yeah. Uh, a little back here. How's your strength? Did you go up quite a bit? Yeah, I'm Did you gain a little bit of weight here? Yeah, I'm really strong now. I'm running more harder now. Yeah, I bet. You stretching much? No. You better stretch these legs a little bit, huh? What? It's tight. A little tight, yeah. So you went uh, from 4.9 to 4.4 percent. Yep. That's good? That's good. Yeah. Good good drop, yeah. Then on the same body weight, you know? Same body weight. So you basically took a pound of fat and dropped a pound of fat and, and put a pound of muscle on. Okay. That's kind of what happened. In it. That's a pretty good ratio. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's get to the pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No more. Face up first? Yeah, let's go face up. We'll start with the quads. Get in there. Okay. You know, it, it all depends on the person. So it's an individual. Uh, percentage but most bodybuilders range when they're competing between usually about three to four percent okay um, some of them will get down below three but it's it's rare you know so so with uh, Silvio we, we haven't you know this is only the first few times where we've done the body composition so we're kind of trying to find out what his magic number will be you know so we're still in the process of seeing that so I, I imagine uh, it would probably break four percent or uh, yeah, maybe, or maybe be right at four, three nine to four, and be right as my my guess. Because um, he looks pretty phenomenal here. Doesn't have a lot of body fat. He's at four point four, so maybe a little more of a drop. But it's it's so individual. You have to remember that uh, everybody carries their body fat a little differently. So you can't say okay, one person is uh, two point nine percent, another person is four percent, and and uh, the four percent person is fat. It's it's more that you know it depends on how their body looks at four percent. So so right now we're just uh, doing some quad stripping. He's got uh, pretty tight tissues here from training in the last few days. So we're just going to open up the lateralis, rectus femoris, and medialis on the front side.
the legs look like they grew as well, huh? Yeah. Got a little fuller. Are they sore from uh, the workout a yeah. little bit? Yeah. yeah. It's sensitive. Well, you don't look like you're holding a lot of water right now with this. You yeah. keep your sodium still in the... Yeah, that's that yeah, that's the basic thing. That's why I want, I don't want at the time you need to have it much water to drop. No, mm -hmm. just something that uh, after after the shooting, then I'll stop the cardio this thing for two weeks, mm -hmm. then I start cardio again in the next two weeks to the show. So that is just to clean the water because normally I don't take diuretics, I don't take nothing like or the de carb depleting or whatever. No. And you know, carb depleting was not really uh, was not really good for my body because when I do car uh, carb depleting, I kind of I get so small. Okay. Yeah, I get so small and uh, I don't have the energy to win this thing. Yeah, can't train as hard as you need to. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. I think it's a better way to go anyway because you are not kind of guessing. You you know pretty much what's going to happen with your mm -hmm. physique. It's only about the water at the end rather than trying to fill back up with okay. glycogen. Yeah. It's tight throughout the packs there. Not too bad though. This tissue is pretty healthy. It's it's um, just about keeping it uh, more pliable. Uh, so he doesn't get any entrapments that can uh, slow the progress of the tissue or make it look a little flat in certain areas. When you're training heavy like that, and he's put on quite a bit of muscle recently, it's a potential when that happens to, to cause some adhesions or entrapments in the soft tissue. So we're just kind of keeping all that open and relaxed and the fascia relaxed so that uh, he doesn't have any injuries in the future or, or it doesn't cause any blurring to any of the parts of his physique. And it's also very, uh, it's it's healing to get deep tissue work anyway when you're training hard like that as it allows for uh, more growth, better blood supply to the muscle. And that's just a great preventative type of thing to do when you're training hard. But uh, I don't think Sylvia's had any, you don't have any injuries right now, right? It's pretty, pretty healthy and... I'll tell you who I've been working on recently here. Uh, well, Chris is back, Cormier. He's he's uh, been very consistent, showing up. Uh, he's been coming in for the last uh, eleven weeks, so he's he's doing consistent therapy and looking better. Melvin, he's been consistent the last few years, and um, Sylvia is coming now. And I've had uh, Olano Brown was out there, um, and quite a few amateurs that are coming in. So it's, it's getting busy around here, and especially during this time, it's almost like the season of competing. So I've got to stay strong. <laughs> Work on these these guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, five usually. Five o'clock. Get in here about six. Work for about six hours, and then take a little break and come back in the evening. And, uh, you know, half of my client base is just average folk. I have a lot of athletes, and I have a lot of football players. I work with college ball players and uh, high school kids and whatnot. So all different athletes will come in and get this type of work or injury uh, therapy as well. So the majority of uh, injuries are soft tissue in nature, where the, the muscles, tendons, or ligaments are causing the symptomatic discomfort or dysfunction in the in the joint and I think more and more athletes are starting to recognize that I see all the professionals that are using deep tissue therapists it's a way to extend your career you know and keep you out of injuries and whatnot I think, uh, what was it, Lance Armstrong, when he was uh, 
doing the tour there, was having somebody work on them twice a day. Twice a day for like, you know, 45 minutes in the morning, 45 minutes in the evening with deep tissue. So a high level endurance athlete, you know, um, they need it more often, you know, just to keep the tissues working functionally, functionally better. <laughs> I was saying, he, Silvio will be one of the best in bodybuilding. He's got a lot of things going for him. Other than his physique, he's a he's very disciplined, you know, he had the right attitude. Um, and, uh, it's very complete. There's nothing really missing on Silvio. All he needs to do is keep bringing his size up. Keep that separation, keep his size up, and uh, he's, he's going to be one of the, the better bodybuilders. Um, and I think he's uh, pretty used to competing. He's done quite a few shows in the past in your country, and so discipline is not a problem, you know, and holding body fat levels low. I mean, I've never seen you carry body fat, you know, it's always, he's always fairly lean, so. We have to look out for this guy here. And I think, you know, these days, everybody just about has everything. Okay, and in the past, they would be missing some body parts. You know, maybe they're missing calves or, or hamstrings or something. And, and uh, these days, the guys, you know, the, the, the really good ones have all the body parts fully developed and fully separated. And so it's, it comes down to what I, I think uh, becomes almost what's pleasing to the eye. Right? So they all, everybody looks so good at the top. And, uh, you know, Silvio has one of those kind of physiques, you know, that, that's pretty pleasing to the eye. It's um, complete everywhere. And uh, at times that can actually hurt you to win. Sometimes you need something that looks freakier, you know. But, uh, but when you develop a physique, like if he puts, you know, if he gets up to 230, 235, it's going to be pretty tough to beat this guy with this kind of a uh, shape and separation very round muscles you know so. just keep plugging away and it's gonna do well I'm glad I'm not competing with these guys <laughs> what's the heaviest you've been in a competition so 218 was that this year? Yeah, I mean, the tissue is very healthy. I mean, there's only some small tightness to it. Uh, you know, part of it, he's got really good genetics, you know, and you're born with some of this, you know, and then you develop the rest. But yeah, very, and you can see the clarity in the skin, uh, the, the thinness of the skin, you know, very thin and in all different areas. and. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's uh, abused himself too much over the years, which is a plus, you know. So he shouldn't burn himself out too bad. I'll call it. Thank you very much. Good to see you. See you. We'll see you next week. All right. Next Friday. Okay. Good. Stay with Any it. printer? No. Put the water first, though.
get me too. Uh, Two, three. Nice. That's the mind there, Lee Hedney. Hello. He's busy on the conference call. We'll have to see him later. My first picture here when I came here, yeah. I was here, yeah. No, no, no. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, good. good. Hello, nice to meet you. Busted. <laughs> Peter, how are you? Hi, Dave. I know you don't want to be on camera too late. No, not too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm doing my DVD. Hello. Well, we're, we're, we're very pleased, you know, to watch your progress. Last year, you came into the Night of the Champions. Yeah. You weren't in the top ten, but you should have been. You were just completely unknown. And then this year, you've really broken through. And you came in here in February, right. and we said immediately, we've got to sign this guy. You know, and uh, then you qualified for the Olympia. You, 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 you got the deal with Muscle Tech. You moved over. It's been a terrific year for you. Yeah, it's absolutely. It was a really a nice year. And uh, if I had to live a dream now, and it was uh, right from Spain when I took a decision to leave. Though it wasn't easy for me to drop everything and then say, let mm -hmm. me make a move and then go over there. So uh, another point was, if it doesn't work, where will you go? So I tried to drop that very side. Yeah. And then I said, let me think of the positive side. Let me go, it's gonna work. So uh, that was why I tried to pursue every show mm. uh, at its own time. Not thinking how many shows I'm going. One, the first show was really good. That was the Iron Man, which actually uh, exposed me to the whole American uh, uh, bodybuilding world. Yeah. And then qualifying for the Olympia, I said, no, I'm not gonna stop here because this is a sport I love to do. I'm a winner, I will tell you that. I'm a winner because I've been doing sport when I was 13 years old till now. So uh, sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. But what do I do if I lose? Mm -hmm. I go back and then uh, I put up my board, I do. I check my mistakes and then uh, I correct it well. Mm -hmm. So that was the reason I went back again. I said, no, winning, uh, having a qualification for Olympia will not really put me in the real mark yeah. One, I have not really got the experience on how to confront this American life or the American uh, bodybuilding or confront the big guys pose by pose. I don't know how to pose well, I don't know how to do a lot of things well, I don't know how to hold the abs because I've been doing things alone while yeah. in Spain. So that was the reason why I said I have to be going into other shows to learn. And uh, he, he heard a lot of things saying, oh, he I cannot really keep or I will be tired. Actually, I'm not tired. I will tell you, I've been competing right from 2001 till now, nonstop, mm -hmm. in all the shows when I was amateur. So if I've been doing it, why can't I do it now? Mm -hmm. But bodybuilding professional is different. But I'm really going to establish myself and then, uh, like I have done, learn a lot of what I'm supposed to do, mm -hmm. then get on the really important shows with the top performance that I have now learned the experience then by next year I go into shows just to really make the impact there not right. just going for a show right. so it's not going to be much but it's going to be if I'm entering a show then you know it's quite a different so that's the yeah. plan I got it and it really uh, making giving me the so you live in the American dream you like it out here yeah I'm really yeah. and uh, yeah. I want to tell you I bought a new car yeah, I saw saw pictures of it. Yes, you yeah, yeah. It's right there. You can see from your oh wow, your, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right, the first one. We'll have to, you'll have to take me for a ride later. On. <laughs> <laughs> so really, uh, it's been a help all around with everybody around helping me, taking me around, and uh, I just thought about it. I said uh, I've been saving for the rainy day here. Uh, I go just leave. There's no rainy days here. No, uh, it's, 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 it's as the, the, the saying goes. It's a safe for the rainy day. Not actually it's going to rain. Yeah. But uh, in other way, uh, I have been saving a lot. It's here. 109 here today, folks. Yeah. So 109 <laughs> degrees. Right, yeah. yeah. So uh, I've been saving a lot uh, just to say, let me do Because if I want to do something, I like to do it and never regret about it. Uh, so, yeah. so let me go for a good thing. 
instead of to go for an old or second hand car that I could change in the next two, three years. No. Yeah. So this one could save me for a period then money could be saved for other things like the house I might want to establish after my lease is over over in the next one year. Mm. So it's all on plan. So Great. and it came in a very good uh, time to just after the win and mm. the bonus from my sponsor as well that model take so which really mm. boosted uh, my finance economically. So Great. it's really good. Yeah. So what did you think when you first saw this? Actually, this was a great surprise to me because it was something I did not expect, Anna. Yeah. You know, a well, we never tell anybody. I never tell anybody. That I, I, is just, <laughs> I just send them a copy and right. see what happens. <laughs> so he, he was telling me, he asked me in, uh, in the first issue when he was recording my heart because it was with me. So he asked me, did anybody tell you? Actually, nobody told me. And I did not even know the news came from somebody fr from Spain. He told uh, sending me an email. You are in the front page of Flex. I said, no, come on. Yeah. So it was like, wow, who am I? So really, <laughs> I was saying, who am I? Uh, mm -hmm. Then it it really gave me. This was uh, this was really where my dream, American dream, really came true. Yeah. So I, from this very front page, uh, I started seeing bodybuilding in a different angle. Mm -hmm. That is, I started taking off. The negative thinking that we wish people have been telling me in Spain that you cannot leave, nobody leave on bodybuilding. Mm. So this opened a lot of ways, a lot of road, a lot of recognition. I will yeah. tell you here in US and all over the world. Mostly where I am living, it gave me a lot of publicity. Right. And popularity in whereby even where even in the grocery stores where I go to buy things and then the magazine is there. Oh, that's you. Even at the <laughs> airport, yeah. with this really, I had to pass in most of the. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I have to say it because they're all fans. Yeah. TSA, I have to tell. Oh, go go. That's the guy in the front page magazine because right. they train in the gym as well. Yeah. They know everything about it. So yeah. it was a great lesson to me. Yeah. Yeah. Really, <laughs> uh, I'm happy about it. I wish I could have more of this because it's all, you guys will not know the pleasure it takes for one to be here, but it's all yeah. awesome, yeah. And you fully deserved it, I mean, because of the breakthrough that what you did earlier in the year, qualifying for the Olympia, the impact you made, you know, obviously you, you became a prime candidate for the cover, and yeah. uh, congratulations. I really thank you very much, sir, because, uh, you know, you, the, from the first day I came in here, I only asked to come around here to see my, see the dreams of a house. It was a kind of dream. A right. office was a dream house. I said I have to visit. So my visiting that day was just a, a kind of yes. Yeah, this is where you have to start. Yeah. And uh, this thing, all these things, crowded up uh, with the point that even when I won. The show I want to gain my own pro card was Joe Wither's trophy in France. Right. So with that uh, signing again with Wither is that oh this yeah. is could be this is my own saving. Yeah. So just to remind you again, and this year I've been invited on the same competition because the France people have been following up all my activities mm -hmm. and success. They invited me for a guest posing for the same Joe Wither trophy in November. Oh, great. 19. So I'll be going yeah. to France to do the guest yeah. posing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the last time you were here, you did meet Joe Weider. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It yeah. was really great, uh, all these things. So the picture, even then, with Joe Weider, then is still on my website. And it, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. amazing, yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> well, you deserved all you've had this year. You, you, you can keep smiling. You know, I know you work hard, but keep that, keep that good, good outlook on I it. Do. <laughs> and, uh, you know, thanks for dropping in. Um, I've got Governor Schwarzenegger waiting for me outside. Okay, sir. Um, I know you have a in fact, meeting. Can you come back later, Arnold? Um, yeah. I probably haven't got time to see you today. G give me a call. You see how important is sound with Sylvia? It's, it's not cancelling a governor's <laughs> appointment just to talk to me. Yeah. Right. That's a guy. Yeah. Yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> right. yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, Thank you. you take care. All right. Okay. I'll be glad. What's up, man? How you been? Yes. Good man. Yeah. You yeah. saw yeah. yesterday. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Yeah.
out to him and, and uh, send him to me so I can say Erica or something. Good call.